guys, it's Shipwreck Samantha here, and this week I'm going to be showing you how I made these fawn feet. Uh, they were so fun to make, and it took a few days to do. Um, they're really fluffy and soft. I added lots of fur to them, and I mean, I'll show some pictures of what it actually looks like in the video, of course. So this is what they look like right here. Now, the, at the beginning, what I did is I got a pair of platform heels from Goodwill. They had a really strong sole, and they had a wood base um, with a strap. And let me see if you can see, this is where the heel goes, and my toes go down in here. So once I got that, the first thing I had to do was chop the heels off which it was kind of cool because it's kind of fun to destroy stuff so I chopped the heels off of the heels chopped the heels off the heels and then I could start shaping it so once I put them on I realized that it looked too much like a foot even when it was covered up with the leggings so the next thing I did see if I can show it so now the structure I have was just the, the shoe with the foam on top now I need to work on the hoof so what I had to do for the hoof was take two um, layers of wood. I did two layers on them because the wood wasn't very thick. If you have like a two or four inch thick wood, you should be fine. Um, put those together and I screwed into, through the shoe into the wood, made sure it was really secure. Then I, the next thing I had to do was sculpt around that wood to make the hoof shape. I heard that pool noodle worked pretty well because it's strong and it, it melts under hot glue temperatures so you could kind of shape it the way you wanted it. So I tried it. It didn't work out like I wanted. Um, it still, I still got the shape, a basic shape of what I wanted. Um, and it is pretty strong, but it wasn't smooth enough for me to just paint it like it was. So what I did was I took some thin fabric and I stretched it really tight across this. So this is all covered in fabric. It was really tight and really stretched. And I did a layer of Mod Podge behind and on top of the fabric. After I did that, I went ahead and painted it and did a few more layers of Mod Podge. I did a ton of layers because this is gonna be the ground and I didn't want the chip to paint. So, <laughs> so, you just need to do a lot of glue. Maj Podge is great because it's a sealer. It's a little shiny, but that's okay. At this point, I was able to glue on the leggings, so I just glued around the rim, and all that's left was at the fur. So, this isn't actually fur like you'd find on a yard of fabric. It was actually yarn that I got. I think it's called homespun yarn that I took off of its string and I brushed it onto a brush until I got this matte up hair, kind of like a fur ball. And then I would do an area of hot glue and glue it on. Then I would brush out the leftover fur. And I just repeated that process until I got this. And it's so soft and fluffy. Um, that was the basic, basically what I did. It took a few days to do it. If you are doing this, please keep in mind to be careful because I did have to use power tools to do this and I had some help because I don't have a lot of experience with power tools but I definitely recommend having help with this project because you need to be careful. <laughs> I will put a link to a full walking test of the end result. I really love how it turned out and they're actually surprisingly comfortable because with heels you don't really put pressure on your heel when you're standing, you're actually putting the pressure down here, so it actually works out really well. I hope that made sense to you guys. Also, like I said, you can look at the video to kind of see a better idea of what it, how it looks in action. And if you have any more questions about this project, go ahead and comment them below, I'd be happy to answer. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for weekly videos, and I will see you in the next video.